Hey everyone, my name is Elizabeth and today I'm with my friend Suzanne. Hi. And she's going to take us step by step through how she got her fella... <laughs> her fella? I'm with my friend Suzanne. Hi. And she's going to take us step by step through how she got her photo gallery wall done. Now, Suzanne, before we get started, what was your biggest challenge in this whole process? The biggest challenge was actually getting started with the whole process. Yeah. Um, getting planning then, and then I went out and bought a photo frame each month. Because, For budget yeah, reasons. Because of budget yeah, <laughs> those are, yeah. And then I got some ideas from Pinterest for layouts. Oh, okay. And then I just went from there. And then we're going to get started. Right, Suzanne, so what is our step one? Uh, now we're gonna put the photos into the frames. So just a tip, uh, use a butter knife to lift Look. up the, the hooks of the frame because they're quite sharp and they can hurt your fingers quite badly. All right, okay. okay. Yeah, especially if you do a lot of these frames, I think your fingers are going to be yes, yes, raw yes. by the time if you... Yeah, and you might lose a few nails <laughs> as well. Awesome. Okay, so that's it. Fantastic. Alright, so on to the rest. Just another tip. Um, the small frames are usually standing frames. Mm -hmm. So they have a little foot at the back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which you... You just pull it off. You, just pull it off, but um, take the whole cardboard out of the frame because mm -hmm. you have to push down on it to take it off. And it might and break the, the glass. Yes, the glass might break if you take that off. Okay. The other thing is uh, they don't have hooks to hang it on the wall. Mm -hmm. So what we did on the big frames, they always have extras mm -hmm. um, at the back of them to have the option of hanging it landscape or portrait. Yeah, yeah. So we took the extra ones off. Oh, okay. Over I there. See. Yeah, yeah. And we put it on the small ones. Fantastic.
Okay, so this is the mark where the hook is on the frame. So I'm just gonna make a hole through the paper with a pen and draw on the wall where we should draw for the screw to go in. So we got it done in good time, but I've got one more question. Why plan a wall? I think to stay within budget, mm -hmm. um, to stay within a the theme, yeah. and to give it a good flow. Very true. I'm sure you guys would agree.